Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jason. I'll be reviewing the partnership between Enterprise and Disney to promote Frozen 2. I'm looking for something with a lot of horsepower. Oh, absolutely. Enterprise has vehicles of all kinds for you to rent, buy, or even share. Good, because I'm going on an epic adventure. How epic? Whoa. I know, right? Uh-huh. The one place to go for all the places life takes you. Enterprise. Dual climate control? Now who has magic powers? See Disney's Frozen 2 in theaters November 22nd. One of the first questions that came to mind was how would Disney and Enterprise benefit from promoting each other? To answer that, we have to look at the key players that are directly and indirectly impacted. Kristen Bell is a longtime spokesperson for Enterprise, and she also happens to be the voice of Anna from Frozen and Frozen 2. Could this have played a small role in the strategic partnership? I think so because it's a bit different than the 10 other promotional partners that are promoting Frozen 2. The first seven are Ziploc, McDonald's, Nature Zone, General Mills, Juicy Juice, Icebreakers, and Kellogg's. All of these have a similar theme of what parents might buy for children to indulge during breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If we look at Ziploc, they have Ziploc bags, and one of those bags are probably going to be pulled out in a cafeteria, and that could be a talking point or a reminder to go see Frozen 2. Plus, if you have a toy that you received from a McDonald's kids meal, even more promotion towards children, which ultimately translates to the parents hearing about it excessively. Then the other promotional partners are Google Home, Glade, and JCPenney. Those are also a bit different, but with all of these promotional partners, Frozen 2 will be everywhere in retailers, and it's going to be really hard for you to miss when you go shopping. So does it surprise you that the pre-sale tickets to Frozen 2 sold over $100 million worth? Now, since I'm reviewing the Enterprise commercial, I'm not going to go into detail of Disney's entire strategy. That'd be pretty cool, but I also have a life and a lot of work to attend to. So why was Enterprise in particular chosen to be a promotional partner? From the small bit of research that I did, Enterprise generated $25.9 billion for 2019, which was reported at the end of quarter three. Enterprise tends to target consumers that need temporary vehicles. The reasons for that would include accidents, theft, mechanical repairs, special occasions such as leisure and business trips, and I guess weekend getaways. And then they also cover consumers that also want to buy and share vehicles. Basically, these are the same people that are going to be buying the tickets for their children to go see Frozen 2. And if you go on the Enterprise website, they also have downloadable sheets if you're driving on the road with an Enterprise car and the passengers, aka children, need something to do. The children are going to be way more interested than the parents, but it's the parents who are going to actually be buying the tickets, and there's just about nowhere to escape Frozen 2, so shop, do whatever you want, you're going to see Frozen 2 somewhere. Now, as far as the advertisement for Enterprise, it was more about getting its name out there and possibly branding itself as a company with multiple options to choose from, such as smaller, large vehicles, uh, the bells and whistles for you to enjoy an epic adventure on. However, it does depend on the location and time when you get these vehicles, so they may or may not have them. So, you know, take that into account as well. And lastly, the outfit that Kristen Bell is wearing is the same exact outfit that Anna is wearing. Did anybody else catch that? Go comment your answer down below and leave a commercial for me to review for the next coming weeks. So you can find out a little bit more about that in the description. But aside from that, go like and go subscribe because I post videos every Wednesday.